Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install HN Core custom firmware on any PS Vita from 3.65, 3.67 and 3.68. So the PS Vita I have right here is 3.68. So basically all you need for this video is a PS Vita on 3, if it's on 3.67, just update it to 3.68 because it will be easier. If you have a PS Vita on 3.65, you can actually make this custom firmware permanent so you don't have to um, restart it every time you boot. This is demi very similar to the PSP um, 6.61 firmware that you guys probably remember. But anyway, if you guys want to go on your PC, I will show you guys what to do next. Alright guys, so once you're on your PC, I will leave links to everything in the description. The first link here is the HN Core link, and as you can see, there are the supported firmwares. So if you scroll down, you can get to the installation section. The first thing you will need to do is download QCMA. So I've got a link to that. All you want to do is scroll down and get the Windows installer, or depending whatever operating system you have. The next installer you need to get is the PSV Image Tools. I'm going to get the Windows 64-bit version. And then the next tool you need to get is the package to zip. So I'm just going to download the 64-bit version for that. So once you've got all of the free programs on step one, move over to step two and you want to download the demo of Bitter Smile. Then on step three, all you want to do is download the HNCore zip file. Now head over to your downloads folder and the first thing you want to do is right click the game, go to rename and type in DEMO in full capitals, then just click enter. Now what you need to do is just set up QCMA. So I actually already have it installed on my PC. It's very simple. All you do is click next a few times and it's done. So I'm just going to delete the exe file. Next thing you want to do is just create a folder just to put everything in, just to make it a lot easier. You don't even have to give it a name. I'm just going to leave mine as new folder, but I'm going to drag and drop all of these files in. Now we'll go into the new folder and the first thing you want to do is just extract every zip file into this folder. So right click then select extract here. Once they have finished extracting just click the delete key to remove the zip files. And then all you want to do is go to the search bar and type in CMD and then click enter. This is then just going to bring up a command prompt and you will need to enter some text in here. So go onto the main website, go to step four and you will need to copy this line of text. Go back into the command prompt, press control V to paste it. And where it says um, path, you just want to backspace that bit and you just want to type in demo.pkg. Then just click enter. Now just wait for this to complete. It took probably about two minutes or something like that. And then once it's complete, you, you no longer need this command prompt. So you can just close out of it. Now what you need to do is go into the app folder, go into that folder inside of it and copy all these files. So right click, copy, then go back to your new folder, go into the HNCore folder, go into the app folder, go inside of this one and then right click and paste them in here. Once that is complete, just go back to the new folder, go inside of the app folder again, then in this folder. Now you need to go into the SCE underscore SIS, then go into package, find temp.bin, right click, copy it. Now go back to your new folder, go into your HNCore folder, go into the license folder, go inside of this folder, right click and paste. Now with this temp.bin file, what you actually need to do is you need to rename it. So if you go into step six, you will find a line of text here with dot riff at the end. All you want to do, right click, rename and paste that in. So press control V, then just click enter. Windows will say, would you like to rename and just click yes. Now go back to your new folder and you can minimize out of this. Now what you want to do is open up QMCA. So just start it up on your computer. 
And then on your PS Vita, you just need to connect it to your PC using the USB adapter. So just connect it in, then open up Content Manager, and from here, just click Start. Now go to Copy Content, and this is just going to connect to your PC. So it will um, say if it's connected because you will have a desktop. Now back on your PC, all you want to do is go down to QCMA, right click it and then select Refresh Database. Then what you want to do, right click it again and go into these settings. Once you're in the settings, go to Application and Backups and then click Browse. This is going to be your PS Vita's files, so go inside of the app folder, go inside of that folder and rename it. You're going to want to copy that ID. So now click Cancel, click OK and you're going to want to go to this web page which is on step 8 so just click the here button wait for this website to load this is where you want to paste in your custom ID now just click submit this is the special line of text you want to download and make sure you don't lose this now just go back to your file folder right click and create a new text document now give this text document any name um, I just called mine ID um, I just called mine ID key, but what you want to do is go inside of it, right click, paste, and then just save. This is just in case you lose the line of text. Now what you want to do is just select every file except for the demo and put it inside the HNCore folder. Go inside of the HNCore folder and then you want to do this CMD thing. So go to the search bar, type in CMD and click enter. It's then just going to bring up the command prompt again. So there are these special lines of text you need for the command prompt. They can be found on the GitHub page. So scroll down, they're on step nine. Uh, what you wanna do is copy the first one. Now go into the command prompt, press Control V to paste it. Now this is what you need to do guys, go and copy that key again. And on the command prompt, where it says your key, what you have to do is just use the arrow keys, then backspace out of the your key bit. So just completely delete it. And now what you do is press Control V and this will paste in your actual key. So now just scroll to the end and then press enter. So now it's just going to do this um, file loading thing. It's just preparing uh, all the HNCore app files and stuff like that. So just wait for this to complete. So once it's completed, you now need to do the second line of text. And guys, you just do exactly the same thing. Where it says your key, um, that is just where you put your actual key. So copy your key again, use the arrow keys to scroll over to your key, then just backspace out of it, and then paste the real key in there. So once it's in there, just scroll to the end, and then just paste, um, then just press the enter key again. So now you're on to the third line of text. Um, the last few aren't as long, so just do exactly the same thing again. Paste it in, copy your key, and then replace the your key part. Scroll to the end and then just press the enter key on your keyboard. And now you're on to the last line of text. So just do exactly the same thing again. This part is very simple. So once you've pasted that in, all you need to do is just click enter again. So that is it guys. You can now close out of this command prompt. and close out of the text document. So go back to your new folder. What you wanna do is you wanna right click this PCS folder here, select copy, go to QCMA, go to settings, then where it says application slash backups, all you want to do is just click browse. Now you want to go into the app folder, go inside of your custom ID folder, and then paste the file folder in there. Now simply just click cancel because you no longer need this. Go to QMCA, right click it and then do refresh database. And that is it for the PC. Right guys, so on your PS Vita it might be timed out but just turn it back on. 
and then go from copy content to PC to PS Vita. Then select applications, go on to PS Vita applications and here you will find HNCore. So just tick the box and then select copy. So this is now going to copy across, all you do is just click OK. This took about 5 minutes for me, I don't want to waste your guys time so I'm just going to skip the whole process. So once it's done copying across, you're now completely done. You can back out of Content Manager and go to your PS Vita's home screen. Just scroll down and you will find HNCore. So what you want to do guys is you just want to tap it and then just press start to load into it. Then just click yes. You will get like a few um, flashes of different color. It goes pink, or it goes white and then pink and then you will get into this special menu. So what you want to do is scroll down and just press X on install, install Henkaku. It's then going to install, scroll up to exit and press X on that. So that is it guys, you have now installed the hack. So if you go into your system settings, you can now find out that you have Henkaku settings enabled in there. So you can go into the Henkaku settings and there's tons of stuff you can do here. If you go into spoof version, just make sure it's on the version you're on right now. Um, you know, there's tons of stuff in here. I won't be covering it in this video, but if you guys would leave some suggestions for PS Vita videos in the comments, um, I'll probably definitely do them. So if you just go into the system settings, then go into the system information. As you can see, if you check out my system software, it's 3.68 and then two Chinese symbols. So that is how you install the HNCore hack on PS Vita 3.65 to 3.68. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. I tried to make this as simple as possible, and this is probably one of the most reliable tutorials on this right now. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.